what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video of course we're going to be doing another wig review got the wig right here so this is another aliexpress vendor that i'll be doing today um i had got this wig a while ago i just life here and i never did the review for it so i'm going to do the unboxing part right now and then once this wig come off which the review for this wig is already up so if you like to see the details on this wig right here i have it in the cards but today just so i can you know make sure i'm saying the name right today we're going to be reviewing the aliexpress vendor so great official and in this bag right here i got a 36 inch 180 density body wave frontal wig and the total price of it was 296.65 so when you open it, which I had the bag open because I had ordered like four wigs at one time. I just wanted to make sure that every wig was the correct wig, but I didn't actually like look at it or nothing. So in here, they send a wig cap. Thank you, because I have not been getting wig caps recently. It's crazy. So they sent a wig cap, of course the wig, and then that is all. And then, you know, just the bag to store the wig in. So reading the details about the wig. So it's supposed to be a 13 by 4 full HD lace frontal wig. And it's body wave. It's Brazilian hair. I just, I don't know, the lace not looking too HD. But the girl's pictures up here is looking good. So let's just get into looking at the wig. So take the net off. So let's get into the length. Yeah. It has a slight smell to it, nothing too crazy. Um, the frontal is pretty roomy. It's not a full 13 by 4, but it's also not um like those 13 by 4, then it's 13 by 2. You get a good little bit of like side space, but just not a full 13 by 4 frontal worth. The eight, the lace honestly to me does not look HD. But it probably blends really good. The knots are really teeny, which is really good. Means that when I bleach the knots, it should look really, really good. It's definitely giving one eighty percent density. It's very soft. Run my fingers through it. See if I get any shedding. Getting the slightest bit of like not tangling, but you know it definitely needs to be brushed through. But it's really thick. I definitely know what style I'm going to do on this. So I know what video this is. We're going to be doing a styling video. So with this hair, I'm probably going to curl it. So we'll just see. I know it's going to be a styling video. And I had promised in my last video that I would do a barrel curl tutorial. So I might barrel curl it instead of wand curl it. We'll see when I get the styling. But the initial review, yeah, this looks good. And for the price, I got 36 inches for less than 300. Yeah. And like I said, it's the inside. They said the bag. It's not a full, full 13 by 4, but it's definitely close enough. It's the closest you'll get, you know, for the money that you pay. I'm definitely ready to wear this. Because, sweetie. See the length? Let me. Yeah. But yeah, overall, initially, I feel like this is going to be good. So definitely going to get to styling it and stuff. Just to have that out the way. And then whenever I take this off, this will be the next look. I just hope it don't be this hot. <laughs> so yeah, that's this part. Now we're going to get into the styling clip of the video. Alright you guys, so here I already, you know, bleached the knots, customized it, hot comb the roots, all that good stuff. I done did all of that. So right here, I'm just sectioning the hair so that I can start doing the barrel curls. I like to split it down the middle. Even if I am doing the side part, I'm still going to split it down the middle. And then here, I went ahead and cut the lace off because I'll forget if not. And y'all see Logan, he just... He likes to be where I'm at. Oh, and also, y'all, excuse my room. I was washing my covers and stuff like that. But this is the iron that I'm using. I do not know what size it is. That's why I slowed down the clip for y'all to see it. So when it comes to, like, barrel curling, I like to get a horizontal section, as you guys can see. And I like to barrel curl away from the hair. So it's really hard to explain in words, but you guys see what I'm doing. I kind of just, you want to... 
I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. Y'all just gotta watch it. <laughs> I am not good at explaining stuff, y'all, but that's why I did it a few times. It's really hard to explain. But you see what I'm doing. And then I got these duck bill clips to hold the hair so that um the curl can sit and cool down so that it'll last longer. Which with this hair, the curls lasted a good little while and they looked it very good. This hair holds heat very good. And so for here, I like to split the frontal away from the back just so that the curls will fall like a certain way. I can do the curls in the front a certain way, the curls in the back a certain way. That's just how I like to do it. But I'm going to show you guys, I think one more time on this side, how I curl it. And then I'm going to show you guys the other side. So right here, I'm just putting so a wax stick on top of it to smooth it out. And then section it to make it smaller because you want the section to be bigger than the iron. And so I'm just flipping it up. Like I said, you want to flip it away from the face. So on this side, I'm going to be flipping up, and then on the other side, I'm going to be flipping down so that the curls will fall away from my face on the other side as well. I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing because I know I'm not telling you nothing, so <laughs> I just hope that you can see it. But after this, I'm going to let you guys continue to watch and listen to music as I finish doing everything. And like I said, I'm clipping it up to hold the heat so that the curls can cool down without losing like their form and stuff like that. And here's Logan again, guys. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch. Okay, y'all, and now I'm on the other side. Basically, I'm doing the frontal now. So this is what I mean when I say I curl away. So when I put the curling iron to the root of the hair, I bring the hair backwards around the curling iron, and then I just keep curling that way. I'll slide it down to get some more room, curl up, keep sliding down. And also a rule of thumb, depending on how you want the curls to fall, if you want them to have a little more, you know, like room, at the um root or if you want to have you know the curl all the way at the root that's how far i mean how far up you want to start your curl on the um on the weed so if you want it to have a little bit of length like how i did i did um So yeah, now I'm at the top, and this is how I curl the top. I still curl up under so that, you know, it can file how I need it to file. And then this is the final product. She look like this with all your clips and stuff. And then spraying some hairspray to help set it, and then some shine spray, and then I'm going to install it. Okay, you guys, so I just put the wig on my head. No, I didn't do no baby hair. Um, I'm just going to start doing baby hair tonight because I'm going to be, so, you know, I don't feel no in there i would sleep with these clips in my head but if you watched my um vlogmas when i was pregnant or my baby shower i kind of did my hair like this and slept then it never again that was just that was too much so i'm gonna at least take the clips out tonight and then if i decide to do baby hair i'll do that tomorrow and now just insert clips you know of what it looks like with the baby hair so like i said i'm not doing it tonight and i'm just gonna be getting these clips get stuck in here and this was the side i wanted to put my hair on when I did it for my last hair review video. 
but on a mannequin, it just be looking different. So I thought it was on the right side. It went in. This is the side that I know we were made on. So this is the final look. Of course I'll have to like brush it out and stuff, but again, I'm probably going to do it tonight, so. If I do anything else, it'll be finished tomorrow when I do up school. But for the most part, so far so good. The only major issue I have with this hair is the knots. A lot of the knots will not bleach. A lot of the knots will not bleach. Um, you can't really tell because of the makeup on it. But like literally a lot of the knots were not bleach. I had the bleach sitting on the hair for, for well over 30 minutes. Well over. And they just want bleach. So I don't know. I am gonna brush it out because since it's so long and the clips was getting tangled in it, I don't wanna go to sleep on the end in it, you know. Well, I just brushed the curls out. <laughs> And so again, this is the final look. Give you guys like a lint check. And this is it curled. It's supposed to be 36 or 34 inches. Um, it's not really tangling like that. I mean, again, because of the lint and that I curled it, it was a little bit tangly, but really, it's not tangly either. I recommend it. Cause I mean, 36 inches for less than $300, you really can't beat it. You really can't beat it. So for the most part, I like it. I think I'm gonna try a style with it, with a little bang, and it went up. I thought it would be really cute. But like I said, I like it. It definitely feels good. I recommend them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, like I said, if I have any more content to add in here, just to add to the review or to like, you know, show you guys the finishing product that the hair looks like. Cause really, it's not as flat. But yeah, so again, that's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in this wig or this vendor, I have a link down below. Like I said, this is the Alias Express vendor. And again, this wig was $300, baby, so I recommend it so far. So cool. And yeah, this is Sam Sunny. Oh, I love you guys. Yay.